guys, I'm going to show you how to create a calculator in React.js. As a first step, let's create our React app. I have already created a React app and let's go to our app.js. As you can see, it's totally empty and this is my app. All right, first of all, create a directory called component inside source and then create a file called cal.js inside components which is going to be our component. All right, and let's get started. First of all, import uh, React and then export our function. Default function, the name of the component, which is cal. Make sure it is capitalized. And then the return body. Okay, let's have a very simple h1 tag. And then let's import our component inside app.js. Import cal from yeah, components cal. And let's add a tag of this component inside our return body crew. Okay. Now let's officially get started here. Uh, first of all, let's go and create our layouts. Let's create a div tag for container and our other elements are going to be wrapped inside container and then let's create another div tag for display which is going to be the input of the calculator after display we should have you know uh, some operators so let's create a div tag for operators And after operators, we should have some operands, which are our digits. Okay. And here I'm going to wrap my buttons inside a row. So let's create a row here and inside the row, create the buttons. Give it a class of btn, which is a bootstrap class. And let me copy this and paste it a couple of times for four operations. Okay, and the vision. Okay, let's do the same thing for our operand section button, class of btn, and Copy and paste it nine times, I guess. All right. Let's add the numbers. Wait. Oh, I forgot to add the row. Let me add it here. A row and, you know, uh, we need to have a column actually inside each row. Let's give it a class of call auto. We're going to have a three rows and, uh, you know, uh, divide the nine numbers in three rows, which means three numbers for each row. Let me do this. All right, let me clean this up a little bit. Okay, now it looks better and cleaner. Let's take a look. Um, well, it sounds like I forgot to add the column to operators. Let me add it. Class name would be call auto. Put the buttons inside the column. 
Alright. Now it looks cleaner and better. Now the calculator looks like a calculator. Okay. Let's go and add some functionality. First of all, we need some state for our display. So let's create a display, set display, which is equal to a use state. We're going to, you know, set some values to our display, which could be the result, what user inputs, and some other things. And find the display inside display tag. Okay. And make sure you add this or zero. So whenever you know display is null, it simply displays zero. Great. Next thing to handle is our uh, buttons. So whenever I click on them, I want to you know see them on the display. Let's add some unclick method. The unclick method should actually update the display whenever user inputs something. Let's create a function called update. Uh, display, which is going to be an error function, uh, which you know gets a value as an argument, and then adds this value to the current display value. So call set display, and the new state would be display plus this new value. Okay, and set this update display as the unclick method of our buttons. Okay, and the value is one. Let's check for number one. Yeah, it's working, so we can apply it for, for the rest of the buttons. Let me copy this and use this called multi cursor facility. Great. Now all of them have this unclick button and the values should be updated for each number. All right, now we're done with the numbers. Let's check on it. Okay, you can see that the numbers are being displayed. Next thing I want to implement is the same thing, but for the operators. Let's add the update display to our operator buttons as well. All right, and update the value. Star and minus and division. Okay. Take another look, refresh the page. One operator, okay. Now our input part is done. Uh, we need some functionality to calculate the result and also an equal uh, button. I think uh, we need another row for some buttons. Uh, for example, for a dot and for equal, and this one could be zero. Great. Let me modify this. And this one should be zero, not 80. And, you know, the equal should have a totally different unclick function because uh, we're going to actually calculate the results uh, when we click on the equal button. Let's call the function something like calculate result. And we're going to implement it right now. Copy the name and scroll to the top. And here, let's create the function. Say const name is equal to an error function. And inside the error function, we're going to calculate the results. So we actually need some state for the results. Let's create it. Uh, const result set result is equal to a use state, all right. And here we're going to set the result to display. 
So whatever you know the result is is going to be displayed on the display tag. So we're going to apply set display and the value is result. Let's check. Now right now if I click on the equal button, it refreshes the display. All right. We need to do some calculation thing here. But uh, how can we actually calculate? Uh, we need some conditions and one condition is about the operate, operators. So let's create an array of operators so we can uh, apply the condition. This array contains all the operators. Great. And here, in the calculation part, we're going to set the condition. If the array operators includes, by this condition I mean uh, if the last character is not, a, is not an operator, we can actually do some calculation. So let's do it. So how to do it? Uh, apply set result, and inside set result, we're going to use eval function to uh, calculate uh, the result of the string on the display. Great. And definitely we need to con convert the integer to string so we can display it on the display. All right, let's test it. Great. As you can see, it's working. And also, let's create another button on the first row to clear the display part. And uh, let me change this unclick method. It should be another function, something like clear display. Let me implement clear display on the top here. Say const clear display is equal to an error function, and all we need to do is to set the display to an empty string or just to zero. Yeah, it would be better to be zero. Yeah, let's check. Let me add some dummy numbers and the clear. Okay, you can see it is. It is refreshed. Let's do some styling now that the functionality is done. Let's create a style.css file. Okay. And link it to our component like this. Import style.css. All right. And let's go to our style.css and for example, Select the body, give it a background of black, then width of 100%. After that, our container, which wraps all of the elements, width of 100%. Okay. And also, let's add some, you know, uh, bootstrap styling to our buttons. For example, I want to uh, give them some uh, BTM primary class uh, to our operator buttons. Let me uh, give all of them BTM primary. All right, now all of them would be the same color. And yeah, let's go to our size.css and select our BTMs, all the BTMs should have a margin of 16 pixels and width of them should be 50 pixels and the height of 50 pixels as well. All right, now the mess is gone. All right, uh, I also want my numbers to have uh, the same style. So I should give them a same style tag, something like digit BTM and apply it for all the buttons. Let's go and select all the digit BTMs.
first of all give them some margin and width of them should be a little bit more something like 66 pixels and height of 45 pixels for example okay now they look better and also add some bootstrap styling to give them some background color for example give all of them bt warning class so all of them are yellow apply okay and uh, let me uh, give this clear button at btn danger it looks better and for this equal it should be btn success so it's green it looks a little bit more familiar and uh, let's add some padding end to my clear button which is yeah right here pe five so it doesn't overflow anymore great and also i want to style my display part as well let's go and select display let me select it here width of 100 percent and some padding for example four percent and font size should be way more something like 32 pixels and okay i think it's good yeah it looks a lot better now and our calculator is calculating i want to add a delete button as well so i can uh you know delete the last character for example uh, let's add this last component the delete button should be right beside the clear okay and then we should add the unclick method for the delete button let's say delete last is the function and we need to implement it right here in our function say const and then the name of the function which is delete last is equal to a narrow function all it is supposed to do is to delete the last character of the display so we need to apply some function called slice with arguments of zero and minus one and assign this new and updated string to another value and set display to this value you know a zero and minus one on slice always delete the last member of the string and let's check on it delete yeah it perfectly works as you can see our calculator is complete and thanks for watching